life be changed in five weeks? Hello, I'm Sienna, and I'm here to tell you about five weeks that changed my life forever. I'd like to start by asking you all a simple question. How many hours do you think you spend on social media a day? Social media has been vital in the past two years as what it truly does and intends to do is connect us. However, I believe social media is about balance. It can create a polarized society, a society addicted to perfection, a social pandemic. However, social media also has the power to unite and allow people to use their voice. It began as an exciting new concept, one where people from around the globe could share ideas, memories, and moments. However, with the speed that it grew and the ages it attracted, issues have arisen. Cyberbullying and societal pressures, just two issues that permeate society, but also all of our lives today. Picture this, January, mid-lockdown, 2021. I'm sure many of you can agree it was a lonely and difficult time. Certainly one of the lowest times in my life. And let me tell you why. I was purely relying on social media as a vessel of escapism. How, you may ask? Well, when I was on my phone, it was as if I didn't have to think of anything else. I was fixated on the screen, and that was all I was fixated on. I could hear my mind and my body telling me it was damaging, and I decided to listen to my mind and my body. It wasn't my parents or friends or family. It was me. I could see it hurting my self-confidence, my motivation. So I sat in front of a mirror, and it came to me. Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, on the one hand, helped keep me socially active. However, consuming more than eight hours of my day, the time it stole from my life and the pressure to constantly keep connected are precisely the reasons why I chose to become socially silent. With a click of a finger and a tap on a screen, my social media had gone. I decided to close off all of my virtual relationships when physical ones didn't exist. I was able to live carefree and truly experience the moment, the present, the now. Liberating is the only way I can describe it. It's truly changed my life. I found that I was spending my time usefully, consuming my life with things that only motivated me and kept me going. I read, I spent time with family, I painted in the garden, I cooked, the list goes on. I learned about the world around me. I learned about my home. But most importantly, I learned about how peaceful the world could be without the distraction of social media. My quality of life had improved. But most importantly, I felt no pressure to conform. I felt free. Now, I'm not going to deny that it wasn't hard, because it most definitely was at the start. One becomes so attached to their device. For me, my phone seemed like a safe place, like a haven. However, I soon realized how truly dangerous it was, like a trap or a prison. I was scared. I really was. What are people going to think? Am I weird? Am I attention-seeking? Will I lose friends? But soon, my fears subsided. I wasn't weird. I didn't lose friends. If anything, I inspired people. And that's why I'm standing here today. I'm not here to purely criticize. After my social break, I realized the real and principal use of social media is communication. And that's all I wanted back from it. I wanted a vessel to communicate. And that's what social media has become to me. For ease, for making plans, for talking to loved ones, for talking to friends. I didn't want endless feeds and superficial standards. I was ready to create my own relationship with social media, a balanced one that wouldn't overtake my life. And I have. I wonder if you know the average hours a teenager spent on social media a day in 2020. For teenagers aged 13 to 19, it was an average of nine hours a day. 
that's 3,285 hours a year, or on average, 173 full days. That's half a year. Half a year. You know, sometimes I sit and wonder, when I'm in my 80s and 90s, whether I would have lived my life to its fullest potential, met countless people, been to countless places, experienced countless experiences. And dare I say it, going off social media for five weeks has taught me three main things. I've learned how to use my time, to take control, because time is precious. I've learned my ideal balance. But most importantly, I have learned a lot about myself. So, I sit here today to ask you one favor. For however long, in whichever way you would like, take some time off social media. Find your balance, find your freedom, find your ideal way to communicate. Because as soon as I stopped communicating with others, I learned to communicate with myself. And that's made me the person I am today. I hope you can leave here thinking, reflecting, and considering this approach to learning about life, learning about the world through experience, but most vitally, learning about yourself. Thank you.